Okay, so today we have here this device which we're going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial, we're going to use a completely different method. An updated method for those who want to recover their device. The recommendation is to watch the video tutorial step by step without skipping ahead so you can perform this recovery. What we're going to do in this video tutorial is use a different method since in this video tutorial we're not going to use the emergency call option that we used previously. We would dial the number and from there we could access the settings and recover our device. These functions are no longer updated and working, but what is working is the method we're going to use today. Today, if you go ahead and follow our instructions exactly, you'll be able to recover your device. We'll click next here. Previously, we could also access it directly from here. We could click where it said click. Go to privacy policy and manually share the shortcut. Clicking share would enable the following options. The applications that could access our device, allowing us to recover it. However, these functions are no longer working. We'll go back, click forward, click skip, click skip again and connect to a wi-fi network we'll connect to the wi-fi network and walk through the steps so you can see that it's completely locked as it has a screen lock and a forgotten gmail account what are we going to do well i also want to mention that in the video description and in the first pinned comment we have a method using a pc and a method without a pc okay now that we're connected to our device, let's follow the steps until we reach the screen lock and the Google account settings. Done. We also want to mention, for those who always support our video tutorials, we recommend that YouTube has enabled the members community session for those who want to see our video tutorials in advance. You can enter and watch our video tutorials. We will also be responding to comments through the community session. We will answer everything you need directly from that community. If you need the tool or the file, we can send it to you directly from there. Here we can see that our device has this screen lock. Here at the bottom, it shows the forgotten Gmail account. We click here where it says, use my Google account. This will take us to this section. As we can see, those who only reset their device, but know their email address, can enter it directly from here. They type it here and go to the following options. They enter the email, click next. Enter the password, and there they will grant access to their device. They won't see the complete video tutorial. Only up to this point, we also have a second alternative that it tells us to add your Gmail or phone number. If you have a phone number in your email, you can also recover it this way. Enter the email address, click next, and a recovery code will be sent to your device. Once you receive the recovery code, it will guide you through the process. Enter the code and you will regain access. For those unfamiliar with either of these options, we recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will use an updated tool. With this updated tool, we will be able to recover your device with a single click. Before running the program, I always recommend temporarily disabling your antivirus. Then, 
Activate your antivirus. Once it's disabled, you can run the tool. I will also explain how to disable your antivirus and where to find this tool. Here on your PC, go. Here, select your antivirus and then go to where it says virus protection. And then we go down here where it says manage settings. Once we're here, we're going to disable the first option, which says real-time protection. After we disable this first option, real-time protection, we're going to go to our PC. We're going to our PC and you're going to type Dabasil. Here exactly as it appears on the screen. You're going to type it. We'll show you how it's written. We'll also be leaving a link in the video description. You're going to type Dabasil exactly as it appears here, just like it sounds. You're going to type it. This option will appear down here that says Android TV. You're going to type it here. Here you're going to select this page, Android TV Davisil, either of the two options that appear there. You're going to select it. Here you'll be able to find these methods. You're going to find it. You're going to go down to the last options. Here you're going to find the official page. The last one that says, Apps Davisil, or Applicaciones Davisil. We're going to select that option, and then it will take us to this section. We're going to click on it. Now it will take us to this section. Here we're going to go down. Go down. Let's go down here. We'll be able to find that tool. We'll be able to find the tool here. Let's go down. We'll keep going down. We'll keep going down here. We'll be able to find the tool. After we do all that, we'll download the tool and then we'll run it. Okay, what we're going to do now is go to our tool. We're going to right click on it here. We're going to explain everything step by step so that you can do everything exactly as shown. In some cases, when we run the tool, Sometimes our antivirus activates and blocks the program. Don't worry, just leave it like that and run it again. So we wait a few seconds. Now the option to finish will appear here. We're going to finish the process here. We're going to wait here until it opens. We're not going to do anything here, we're just going to wait. We're just going to click here on start. We're not going to enter any name, any username, any password, or anything like that. We're just going to open it. Once we open that tool. Now we're going to select it here. What are we going to select? We're going to select what's ours. Well, before I explain that, here we can see that we have the drivers. Here are the drivers. This is the driver we're going to use today on our device. Since here we have the processors, MediaTek, which is Unisoft. In this video tutorial, we're going to use the Unisoft processor. And then here you're going to click where it says, install, we'll install this one. You can also install this one, and I also recommend downloading this one. Since it tells us if the driver is installed correctly. We'll also install this one, which is the one I have here. It will appear here just like it appears here once you install the drivers you'll click here where it says remove and you'll see if the drivers are installed if it appears here this is the one we're going to use if it appears here it's because it's installed correctly but if it's not installed then you go here you go here you'll leave it like this and when you do the process that we re going to explain it will appear here You'll select it quickly, click, install. It has to be quick because sometimes it tends to disappear. So, with that said, we already have the processor. Now we're going to select this one. And as for this device, we're going to select this T616. If your device is 606, don't worry. Select this one. You're going to click on this one. This 64 version 2. 
After we've selected it OK. So we're going to go here in service mode now. While we're here, in service mode, we're going to select this option. Before we select it, we're going to turn off our device. We're going to turn it off and wait 10 seconds for our device to be completely off. As I told you, if you don't have the driver installed yet, this process will appear here. Select it and click install. If you follow our instructions exactly, you'll be able to solve this problem. Click here where it says, Reset FRP. OK, leave it here. Now, just press and hold the volume down button and insert the USB cable at the same time. It will appear here. Select it. Now we can release it. It has been recognized. Release the volume down button. And now we just have to wait for the process to finish correctly. Quote. Reset FRP. It seems I got an error here. Don't worry. We'll do it again. Select. Reset FRP. It will appear here, but it won't appear for me because I already have it installed. So, we'll do the process again. Press N. Hold the volume down button and connect the USB cable. It seems it hasn't been recognized here. We'll do the process again. You see it's not recognized. So press the power button and the volume. Down button to restart the device. Let's try again. Again, well here, it seems it recognized it. Here it is. We release the volume down button. It seems it recognized it recently. I thought it wasn't going to recognize it. But yes, it seems it did. Here it is, ready. Now I'm going to show you. Look, here it says, FRP reset successful. Here our device is restarting. I was going to disconnect it. I was going to try again, but it just recognized it. As long as you do everything, do the steps as we told you. If the driver appears here, click on it and click on install. That said, now we can disconnect it and now, what we're going to do is wait for it to restart. Well, here it just restarted. Now what we're going to do is click here on next. We click here and I'm going to show you that. Your device will appear completely ready to be recovered. Well, here the video cut. Off. Here it will give you access to three options. Create an account, add an account, and skip the account. I always recommend that we let's click on, skip account. We'll click on, skip account, because we still have some errors here. We also going to click here to, skip screen lock. Click on, skip screen lock. Click here on, next, then, accept. Click, accept. This will take you directly to the home screen. You. I'll explain what the errors are. The screen freezes. The operating system keeps malfunctioning. When you try to. Error message. To fix all these errors, I always recommend watching the video tutorial to the end so you don't miss any details and can fix and recover your device. Let's wait a few seconds. Here we have access to the icons. So what we do now is go to settings, in settings. Go to system, in system. You'll be able to reset all these options. Click on reset. When it's completely reset, you'll see a completely new device free of any errors and that would be all